Hello YouTube. A few months ago, a friend of mine gave me a piston with a rod and a crankshaft of an old, uh, what I think was a chainsaw or some kind of a garden implement. I, I don't know. I think it's a, from a chainsaw. So with these things, I wanted to build a steam engine. So the first step at that point was making these two um, bushings to use here and here as part of uh, the crankshaft so I could fix this the whole thing to a, a to a piece of wood or a table well this engine this steam engine could actually run because this is not just a, a display model I wanted to to build a, a, a steam engine a running steam engine so as the first step these two bushings were made second step to weld this steam engine out of a chainsaw piston well the the, the cylinder was made the cylinder was made from a piece of uh, grass or brands yeah. and you can see the gap between piston and cylinder is really really very little there's almost no gap you can see how this thing go inside really cool really really that's, that's really excellent and the cap was also made the cap for the cylinder so i now have to drill a hole here so i can put the gas connectors and finish the the, the, the cylinder and, and piston the third thing to weld this steam engine was the distributor and the necessary parts to to make the timing of the engine so the distributor consists in an eccentric which goes at this part and the eccentric is fixed with this nut in this threaded part of the crank so this thing rotates in coordination with the with the main rod and the piston the angle between this and this in the crank has to be 90 degrees so this can run properly next this rod which goes with which fits exactly in the eccentric this rod was, was made attached to the distributor piston and the cylinder from the distributor it's a cylinder made out of, of grass also which has three holes one is the inlet so the steam can go uh, from the boiler through here goes out from here to the cylinder head and when the piston is moving up through the cylinder head the steam goes through this hole for the inner part of the cylinder and goes out from here to the exhaust okay so these parts make the distributor the fourth step in the welding of the steam engine was uh, making this flywheel so this is a zinc flywheel which is really heavy for its for its size uh, was made out of, of cast of thin cast and it's attached with a nut 
to this part of the crankshaft here at the end. Here. And of course, to fix those things to a uh, fixed wood, we had to weld this supports. And I made the I made them out from aluminium cast. Uh, I first made some some parts exactly the same as these ones, but from wood. And then with with those pieces of wood, we could we were able to we we was able to to mold them into earth and then cast aluminium. So these three supports will fix the whole engine to a piece of wood. The piece of wood we are using here is a piece of, of plywood. So nothing special, nothing fancy, just a piece of wood. It's about uh, 25 uh, centimeters in this direction and 25 centimeters in that direction. You can see all the parts of the steam engine in place, the flywheel is in place, the washings are in place, uh, the eccentric is in place, the distributor and the cylinder is in place. All mounted on a wooden plywood. So I only left this cylinder cap out because I don't want this to have any compression while I am hand testing it because I want I want to see if it moves freely so this thing moves really free I am really happy with the result because you can see I'm pushing it by hand turning it sorry by hand and it really goes well without any problems everything is really really free everything is everything runs just as I wanted them as I wanted this engine to run I'm really really happy with the result I can't wait to see this thing running on steam I really I really need to see how this thing goes on steam on light steam. I only need to get a, a very big boiler now. That's why I don't do it now. But it will be a second video soon. I just need to get uh, a two liter boiler. That's about half a gallon of, of water boiling. And then I will test it out with steam but for now I'm really really excited I'm really happy with the result of this thing running without any problems everything is really as I want it to be okay any comments you can leave them in the comment section and see you soon Bye-bye.